Hi Aquarius, welcome. Thanks so much for being here. Let's do a reading for you and see how things are going. Okay, well that was quick. So it looks like abundance is coming in for you, which is wonderful. That can be in the form of finances. It could be anything that you consider abundance. Mm -hmm. Happiness, peace, money, job. It typically talks about money, finances, career, job, things like that, but it really is whatever you consider abundance. Okay, let's see what we have here. Soulmates. So there could be somebody in your life that you care a lot about. Now, oftentimes, soulmates are there to teach each other something, right? We'll have to get some more information about that, but this could be that you're finding a lot of abundance with a soulmate. See the big picture? Trust the great mystery. Okay. Seeing the big picture, zoom out and take a good look at what's going on. And trust the great mystery. There's a lot of things that we don't understand, but that we need to have faith in. Okay. Very interesting reading you have here. Let's see what we find out. I'm going to get some tarot now. All right. This is saying that you need to go inside and use your intuition because there's questions that you have that you need answers to. Okay. And we have two here. Five of Swords. An argument. And in this particular deck, this always makes me feel like it's an argument within yourself. It does not have to be that, though. But something is a bit challenging. I don't get the feeling that it's a huge thing, but there are, a, you know, a few challenges going on. But you have the King of Cups. And kind of interestingly, the King of Cups is very intelligent emotionally. He feels all his emotions and he acts on them, but he refuses to let his emotions put him in this kind of state. Well, you know, where he's all stressed and upset. And you can see his heart, it's radiating out in all directions. A few things about this energy, very intuitive, and it can say that a very good romantic relationship could be coming in. And it's coming out right under soulmates. So, possibility does exist that there could be... Whoa! Here we go again. Romance coming up. Okay, I think this was in the middle. I'm not really sure. Seven of Swords. Okay, this can say that somebody is being dishonest with you you know, deceiving you in some way, or that you need to be strategic in how you go forward. Let's get some more and see what we find out. Five of Cups. This is making reference to you kind of grieving, feeling bad about um, these three spilled cups. So something in your past could be extremely recent past or a little further back. But that there's something that there's challenging emotions attached with, okay? And it's also saying you need to leave those in the past. They are done. They are gone. You have two full cups here that are waiting for you to see them. And here you have the page of cups. Potential opportunity to go forward. And it has to do, of course, with love and 
all cups energies are about love and using your intuition and here it's use your intuition so in all three columns you have something about using your intuition all right now i was talking about you know the potential exists that a romantic relationship could be coming in but here we have this so it is possible that the romantic relationship if one does apply could be having some challenges because you have the seven of swords and the five of cups you know potentially somebody doing you wrong and you feeling bad about it but that an opportunity is coming in that is filled with intuition and it's something that you would love and here see the big picture so that's even making it more complex. It could be saying that what you are seeing that you think is where you've been wronged, if you zoom out and look at the big picture, you might see that that's not the case. Or vice versa, right? But this is saying trust the great mystery, which would make me think that all is really okay. But that, you know, different things can happen where something looks like it's one way when it's really not. And so I'm kind of getting that vibe with this. Use your intuition. I think maybe we should uh, clarify a little more. Okay. Is this reading about... A love interest. I would say definitely yes, because you have the King of Cups again. Okay. So, definitely about a love interest. All right. So, this might not apply to everybody, maybe just some of you. Okay, has the love interest done something wrong, been deceitful in some way? Well, we need another one for that one. That is talking about the end of a challenging cycle. Mm -hmm. Please clarify the Ten of Swords. It's saying that you get it from this and go on to your happiness. Okay, typically this is a very happy card. It is the Three of Cups. It's where you get together with the people that you love, care about, and celebrate. It's very enjoyable where you can be you, they can be them. It's just a wonderful time. And this is talking about putting an end to whatever the challenges have been and going for your happiness. But I still think we need more. Okay. Is Aquarius seeing something that is inaccurate about the relationship? Yes. All right. Yeah, it's saying a new beginning, going for your passion. Here's an end, here's the beginning. And between the two is the Three of Cups, which is typically a very happy time, but it's also three. So, one more. <laughs> Sorry about this. I just want to be clear. Okay. Is there a third party involved in this in a negative way? And the reason I'm saying negative 
is because a third party doesn't necessarily mean that somebody's doing you wrong, right? A third party could be somebody that they're just talking to. Say, a good example would be about how to deal with arguments you're having or something. Or it could be, you know, somebody having an affair, right? Here you have the Six of Wands. And the Emperor. This is victory. And you having a lot of support. This is taking a leadership role. So, this is kind of complex, but the, you know, after all these cards, kind of what I'm feeling is that, yeah, this really applies. See the big picture. Trust the great mystery. Even though it might look like there's you know, something going on that shouldn't be going on, that there isn't. All right? That's kind of what I'm getting from this. And so this reading could just be for one or two or a few of you. All right? Let's clarify this and see what we get. Well, Aquarius, this has been quite the interesting reading. This is the only one like it so far. Yeah. Okay, Hangman. You have the moon. And what the moon is saying is use your intuition. Here the Hangman is use your intuition because there are questions you need answers to. Here's the moon. Use your intuition. And there's something that you might not be seeing at this time which would be the bigger picture. And it's also saying feed the good side. Whichever side you feed will grow. Whichever side you do not feed will wither and die. Feed the good side. Okay. Now let's clarify <laughs> the King of Cups and the Five of Swords. So this argument could be with somebody else or it could be within you, right? Very interesting reading. Very, very much so. Two of Cups. Okay. This is unconditional love between you and another. And it is a beautiful energy. So... It definitely looks like if there are suspicions and there could be that there really is nothing to worry about um, you need to put an end to that all right everything's okay and if there was anything to worry about it is done and gone but it looks like yeah that not all is as it appeared to be in the negative sense. Okay? Whew. Okay, let's get a card for the Seven of Swords, Five of Cups, and the Page of Cups. That's a book. No too many. We would just like one, please. Maybe two. King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is a very stable energy. Very abundant. And remember your very first card is abundant. Or abundance. This is the epitome of abundance. He is a leader. And he's very compassionate. Can be a little traditional. He is the energy of having the Midas touch. So... If the abundance is about money, that's awesome. More money. But it looks like here it's about a relationship, a romantic relationship. And it begins with abundance, which would tell you not to worry. Abundance is here. And this is saying abundance is here. 
okay? And at the bottom of the deck, you have the Two of Wands. And what this is saying, put this down here, is that you're going to be leaving something behind. You're going forward. And from this, it looks like the potential exists that the suspicion or, you know, what could have possibly have been something a little um, unkosher is leaving, that you're finding out that it's all, tr you know, everything's okay. And turning over your original tarot, this is saying that you are going to be very happy with your abundance. So, abundance, abundance, abundance. You're going to be happy with your abundance. In other words, everything is okay. Wow. Alrighty then. Let's see what the universe would like to share. Okie dokie, here we go. King of Pentacles again. Yes, the universe is just confirming this, okay? Everything is beautiful, abundant, stable, balanced, okay? No need to worry. This jumped out. Will of Fortune is turning in your favor. So it's going to be the end of a challenging cycle and the beginning of a very good new cycle <laughs> and strength you have all the strength you need which is wonderful and compassion and now at the bottom of the deck you have the knight of wands so this is you going for what you're passionate about all right what a reading. Okay, let's see what the angels would like to share. And if you like this reading, please give it a like. Ooh. Share, subscribe, leave comments. Okay, let's see what we have here. Perfect timing. Okay. Perfect timing. So, how I'm feeling about this is you are finding out the truth before um, something drastic happens. Yeah, you're going to find out that everything truly is okay. And the timing couldn't be better when it comes to that. And here it says within the next few weeks. So the perfect time is within the next few weeks. Let's close this out with a charm. You have a tube of toothpaste. I don't know if this has any special meaning for you, but that's what it is. And the, the only thought that really is coming to me right off the bat is arguments. You know, one of the kind of jokes or things that people say is, oh, they're squeezing the toothpaste at the wrong end of the tube, which means it's something trivial. You know, don't let something that is actually quite small work itself into something that you feel is really huge. Okay? I really hope this helps. Thanks so much. And I hope you have a wonderful time. Much love.